Innovation in engineering is key if the chemical industry is to produce materials for a sustainable future. Global chemical manufacturer Scott Barder already has this high on their agenda and are continually looking at ways to make a positive difference within society. We went to Northamptonshire to find out more. Scott Barder is a global chemical manufacturer with a difference. Its workforce own the company and its philanthropic values of social responsibility, charity and working ethically have been at the heart of everything it's done since it started a hundred years ago. It um, makes um, a range of polymer-based products uh, for composites, for adhesives and for functional, functional applications such as personal care. The founders, uh, Ernest Bodder and Dora Scott, that they were Quakers. So when they set the company up, they set it up with some real fundamental values. And that was really about doing no harm to the environment, but it was also doing social good and treating everybody equally. We have 5% of our profits go to charity. It's those values that are driving its 2036 vision to be cleaner and greener in all that it does. Well, the 2036 vision wasn't my vision. It's the employee's vision of what they want me to do. And, and we have a slightly unusual structure. So, so there's, a, there's what's called a members' assembly, which is a democratically elected employee body, which is there to hold the board to account. So I have to answer to, to my employees. My job is to therefore allocate resources, allocate priorities, to work with them to allow us to deliver that, that 2036 vision. To help turn that vision into reality, the company has set up an Operations Sustainability Committee to improve emissions and energy usage over its six manufacturing sites. The primary objective of that committee is to help Scott Bader achieve the 60% target in scope one and two emissions. Mapping our consumption is a logical first step, especially when it comes to energy. And then moving on from there, uh, the sites have to explore the different improvement options and then they're responsible for creating an action plan that's specific to their site. We recognize that each of the sites are different. We operate in different regions and what's possible in a region may not necessarily be possible in another region. Basically, we're trying to get to reducing our energy usage and of moving towards cleaner energy, ultimately towards uh, perhaps self-generation. The firm's UK headquarters is already running on 100% green electricity, and it doesn't stop there. So on the site next year, we'll be spending £10 million in terms of capital investment, which is five times more than we would traditionally spend on the site itself. Um, one of the bigger projects that we're looking at is around our vent abatement. So obviously we have a, a duty of responsibility to the environment and make sure that any emissions from the site themselves aren't harmful. And we'll be trying to move away from using gas to actually electricity. And that change will cost money. We're a part of the community, so when we look at that as well as our 2036 vision, really we have to take elements of cost out of it because what we're talking about here is the future of both the business, the future of the sustainability within the community itself, and also you know, hitting those, those moral and ethical philosophies that we have. And the firm is always looking to do more. The next stage for us is really to start improving the sustainability of our own products themselves, you know, be that based on biological raw materials, be that, um, you know, recyclable. So we have a significant research and development activity today, really looking at how we develop those materials for the future. Scott Barder is an employee-owned global company with a rich history of excellence and social responsibility. Now it's looking to the next generation to carry on its work and, importantly, its values. There's a sort of concept out there which is we have time. I think the reality is that that time is running out, so we do have to move quickly. As a company, we've evolved enormously. And within that, you know, we've overcome lots and lots of challenges. The next 100 years have many challenges as well, different ones. But I think, you know, with ingenuity, with commitment and with the, you know, the inspiration and innovation of people, we can, we can solve these problems.